Watch tonight, a man is behind bars accused of firing several shots at three Columbus police officers. Officers saying this shooting happened after a fight broke out near the South Park apartment complex on Greenfield Drive. Tonight, 10 TV's Ashley Bornanson is outside CPD headquarters with the very latest details. Columbus police tell me it was frightening for the officers who were shot at this morning as they were just doing patrol around the South Park apartment complex, trying to make the neighborhood a safer place. It's frightening as they were there on a totally unrelated call. A regular patrol to tackle crime in an area that has been hit in recent years led to three officers getting shot at. Luckily, none of them were injured. Commander Eric Babcock says officers were called to the 700 block of Canopy Place after receiving a report of a fight between five men. Now, according to police, after 2 a.m., shots were fired off close to them at that same location, followed by shots toward the officers. Babcock says with help of community surveillance footage, they arrested 37-year-old Ricky Teague. As they reviewed the footage, they were able to ascertain that we had a suspect uh, basically lying in ambush. He was hidden behind a vehicle and he was pointing a firearm in the general direction of the officers. Babcock says the footage shows Teague firing shots at three officers and running away. Babcock stresses the importance of community involvement to stop crime. We were able to apprehend him using their cameras. Couldn't so do it alone. we could not do it alone. We can't do it alone. This is the dangers we face. This is the reality of law enforcement. We're in one of the dangerous times ever to be a police officer. Brian Steele, the executive vice president of the Columbus chapter of the Fraternal Order of Police, says these incidents are putting the entire community at risk. It's important the individual who we took into custody was never supposed to have a weapon in the first place. He was a convicted felon. Steele says we need to enforce stricter consequences to keep everyone safe. If you are a convicted felon and you have a weapon, we have to absolutely arrest you, we have to prosecute you, and you have to be incarcerated for a long time. Otherwise, what's the point of having laws like this? Teague was arrested at his nearby apartment and is charged with weapons under disability to be indicted with felony assault. Reporting at the Columbus Police Academy, I'm Ashley Bornanson for 10TV News.